Hello, and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Sientir. I'm Sientir. Sorry about the audio glitch. It turns out when you uh, start this game, that happens. Uh, the This is a very old game. This game is from 1995. So our mission, uh, we'll have a mission briefing here in a moment. Planet, Terran, mission, homeland. Uh, ever since 2832, when the Coalition ordered Bion Dismantlement, the Bion Wars have seemed like a nightmare that never should have happened. You didn't know the Bion survived, did you? Welcome home, Santir. Intelligence report follows. The BW-12 is a fast and dangerous ship, highly maneuverable over, over rocky terrain. Bion walkers lead the ground attack forces. Annihilate them before they destroy our cities. Unibots are a menace to society. Demolish them. Retrieve coalition weaponry and power-ups that the Bions have stolen. Blast the bunkers. Jump zones are coalition trajectories to another mission. Rare but useful shortcuts that leave the Bions in the dust. So generally, we do some objectives and then we go to one of those. Uh, and I like to see my ship because I think it looks really cool. So I use this mode. Um, let's see. So ostensibly, my mission is supposed to go a certain direction. But you can actually explore quite a bit in this game. So I'm going to kind of go this way. Uh, just take a quick screenshot for a uh, thing in the future. That thing being a thumbnail. Where are you? There you are. Uh, let's write myself. So this is basically a flight sim uh, by Microsoft released in 1995. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, of course, when I played it in the past, it was with a, uh, an actual joystick, which it works pretty well with. Um, so there's seven weapons, I want to say. Uh, the SKL laser, which I have infinite ammo on. You can get laser ammo, by the way. Uh, it increases the potency of your lasers. Uh, here we got the server kinetic laser, so this is another copy. Okay, that's what it stands for, server kinetic. Now we know. Um, this is really good. That's turbo. This was a really good direction to go. It's good to kind of ignore my initial mission parameters. Uh, so turbo is like one of the most valuable things you can have in this game. Because uh, when you have it you can use it to move way faster. So one of the things that you might be able to notice, or maybe not, is that um, this is turbo, by the way. Like, you want turbo. So let's go and move towards mission parameters. So the lasers um, have certain thresholds if you have certain quantities of them. Wow, my voice cracked weirdly there. This has some weird drift issues with the controls, too, that I'm noticing. But um, you're actually... Turbo allows you to move faster than your SKL lasers can move, your surface kinetic lasers. Um, but they're shooting two by two. So before when we didn't have any ammo, we were just on infinite, which we'll be back at fairly soon. Um, it shot alternatively. So when we have some ammo, it shoots double rather than alternating. Um, we can also get rapid fire lasers, which are stronger than these. Yeah, so now you can see our lasers are shooting in an alternate style. So it's every other instead of, uh, by the way, I didn't have to do anything fancy to get this game to work, by the way. Um, but it, when we had ammo, it, it shot, uh, simultaneously instead of alternating. If we get enough ammo, it'll actually shoot four at a time rather than, uh, two or every other so uh, but yeah so we have these lasers uh, weapon two is a really strange one it's like a dispersion cannon or something I forget the name we'll probably pick one up at some point in time I just need to kill uh, all these walkers and then let's get ourselves out of here. You can actually do quite a lot of exploration in this game. 
Uh, the map is quite vast. You can see that there's some stuff off to the side. I'm actually curious to see what's over here. Oh, that's a tunnel exit. Um, I don't know if there's any tunnels in this map. These guys can drop rapid fire lasers. Uh, that, okay, that's just a shield restore. I don't need it. Something further this way. Another bunker. It's been a long time since I played this game. Uh, ah, here's the dispersion cannon. So, this weapon um, does this weird sort of like star pattern. So, it can kind of catch stuff. It has limited ammo though, so I don't want to waste it. Here's a tunnel. So, let's go ahead and go into the tunnel. So tunnels are, are kind of like this, right? They they will have these doors that you need to blow up. They will have uh, these walls that you have to kind of avoid. Ah, here's rapid fire lasers. So now I have these lasers. These lasers have a much faster um, move speed. So I can't outrun them with the turbo like I can the other ones. So I might as well just use these while I'm in the tunnel. I think they do more damage as well. Whoa. Oh man, there's so many things that I like about this game. I once made a, uh, I went to a Project Fun Summer Workshop at one point in time, um, 10 years after this game came out. And uh, at that time, um, I made a game that had a lot of inspiration from this. That was basically a shmup that had a lot of uh, similar concepts with weapons and stuff. It looks like this is a bi-directional tunnel, so we can technically go through it either way. But let's go over this way. There's some enemies over here. These guys can drop rapid-fire lasers. Um, there's also a couple of varieties of missiles. That we'll probably get at some point in time. I'm not actually sure where my... Okay, my target's over there. The compass always orients itself towards your target. Now I want to collect whatever is in here. Ooh. I believe this thing makes you temporarily invisible. So enemies don't target you. Um, it doesn't make you invulnerable or anything. There is an invulnerability as well. I think it might be a different color, though. Uh, but enemies don't attack you when you're invisible, so that's nice. Oh, there's another tunnel over here. Oh, more invisibility. Let's just chain invisibility, apparently. Shield restore. Um, these guys can drop rapid fire lasers, so I like blowing them up for the chance to try to get or to try to get those. Need to destroy these Unibots because they're a menace to society. That's what the mission briefing said, right? Um, whoop. I will say this, any sort of flight game like this is just infinitely easier to figure out how to control. Uh, that's what I'm looking for is this guy right here. It's infinitely easier to control with an actual joystick, like a proper flight stick type joystick. Ah, uh, see that guy just dropped rapid fire laser. So I'm gonna switch back to this because I want to conserve rapid fire laser ammo. And I frankly don't need it. You can see that this laser moves much slower, though. Let me use some of this to try to catch that guy. Um, I actually made a weapon that functioned basically like that in the uh, game I was telling you about earlier. Ah, more rapid fire lasers. Excellent. 
Okay, so Vipers are a type of homing missile. Uh, I don't want to waste the ammo on these things. This game is definitely playing a little loose. But anyway. It is not meant for this resolution, by the way. Okay, so I need to destroy more targets. So let's use my turbo fueled self. Ah, okay. So you can see there's a bunch of these guys here. Man, when I was younger, I always played this as like turbo or almost stopped. I don't know how much of this I'm going to play, but I'm going to save at the end of the uh, episode so that we can potentially pick up and do more later. So I'd like to, to play through this game for y'all kind of slowly over time. More rapid fire lasers, that's excellent. Okay, so um, now I need to, I hit the checkpoint. So now I just need to uh, get out of here. Jump to fly zone. Or fly to jump zone, excuse me. And, uh... I'm gonna take out some of these guys with my trusty SKL lasers. Fly into the ground a bit more. I just want to pick up rapid fire lasers, because having a bunch of that is really nice. Well, let's go ahead and, and get ourselves out of here, shall we? Oh man, I love the design of this ship. It, it really is something that's lodged in my brain. So air targets destroyed, 67. Tunnels found, 33%. Ground targets destroyed, 40. So here's mission two. Um, let's see. We can f play with the gigantic cockpit as well. Um, I'm going to try playing in uh, first person for this one. Why not? First person flyer. This is Type of first person shooter, right? Let's see how it plays differently. Ooh. The shields. Like, that's probably useful at a higher difficulty level. Um, so the Bions were some sort of, like, artificial race, uh, that were like super soldiers that just kind of made everything suck. Oh, no. Do you realize what just happened? I ran out of turbo. Now I am slow. This is the worst. I need to find some turbo. Oh, there's nothing in this sector either. There's a tunnel. I guess my mission is to enter this tunnel. Well, this tunnel is probably full of turbo. There is no strafing, by the way. Ships don't strafe. More rapid fire lasers. Um, so there's some turbo. So that's good. I'll show you rapid fire lasers uh, when you have 500 soon. But it's kind of overkill for the tunnel. These are more missiles. They're dead-on missiles. So they go straight. They don't have any homing capabilities. So we have more turbos. So that's really good. Because otherwise it takes forever to get anywhere. Um, that guy just uses dispersion cannon uh, on his rear. I don't think we can shoot behind us, though. Okay, so we need to go just destroy a target. Sorry for anybody who gets motion sick with my terrible flying. Ah, that's more SKL. Let's go ahead and switch to uh, our rapid fire lasers here. So this, as you can see, is now shooting like four and it's way more powerful. Um, let's just use our handy dandy 
flip button to flip ourselves upright. And uh, let's go towards our target, which is this way. Ooh. Um, X toggles the crosshair. Good to know. So I think these bions are d building something. I don't know. Their construction efforts just evaporate under our, our souped-up rapid-fire lasers. Uh, one shot only consumes one ammo, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I would like to go this way, please. Uh, I probably need to destroy this thing. Yeah. Uh, I want to collect my loot box over here, or loot-containing bunker. I wonder if anybody's done a speedrun of this. That'd be interesting to know. I'm not inclined to try to set any records with that, but... I'm actually going to be really curious to see if it's on YouTube. I have a gigantic manual for this game, by the way. Like one of those old, thick manuals back when the... If you wanted to know the lore of the game, you had to get the strategy guide. Ah, more of this bionic construction. Let's see. I need to destroy another target. Oh, looks like it's more construction. And I'm going to take this thing out, too. I am trying to be conservative with my ammo. I know I have a lot, but there's a lot of things to shoot, so... Uh, another target to destroy. Ooh. Ah, this is the invulnerability. So it's blue as opposed to invisibility. Um, there's a lot of similarities between them. I mean, one is just like enemies don't target you, and the other is enemies can shoot you but doesn't do anything. Okay, our mission's complete, so we just need to fly to the fly zone to get out. But I want to... Uh, there's a couple more of these loot-containing boxes. Uh, you can destroy the bases of the bunkers. It doesn't do much. Got more rapid-fire lasers, so that's nice. Um, the bases will show up on that one. You can see the rapid Fire lasers do outrun our turbo. Yeah, server kinetics don't. Um, we actually have a decent amount of turbo now, which is nice. So, at this point, I believe there might be some stuff over the hills if I go digging for it. Um... Not right here. Oh, uh, yep, 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 right here. Ah, this is some Fury Missiles. Bion Fury Missiles are um, the strongest missile, and they're basically an upgraded Viper. They have better homing capabilities. They deal more damage. Um, okay, so my Servo Kinetic Lasers will now be a four-shot because uh, I got some more ammo for them. Okay, and that's just kind of going in circles, so let's let's go ahead and head to the, uh... Or no, there's there's more loot over here, so let's... Oh, that's just, uh, shield refill. Oh, that guy had loot, though. It's nothing like enemies full of loot. Uh, there's a tunnel I could take, but I'm more interested... I don't feel like going through a tunnel, but I do want to go over here. More DC cannon, more turbo, uh, and some invisibility. Okay. With that, I'm going to go ahead and leave this mission, because I got I got enough loot. Always pops out to the ship for this. And uh, my plan for this episode is just do first, just do Terran. I uh, got 46 air targets. I'm not going to like try to find all the tunnels and stuff. Uh, note over here that there is a thing of Bion Fury missiles. Some random walkers. So right now my mission is checkpoint. 
Uh, so that means I should go to this checkpoint. Don't need to fight enemies. They're they're optional, unless they're not, in which case you know you do have to fight them. Okay, so now I need to go destroy a target. This this direction. Looks like it's more Bion instruction. Uh, more shields. I don't care about shields. Ah, I do care about whatever's over here though. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Plenty of turbo. Excellent. Oh, okay. There's a tunnel. I suspect that tunnel will actually be the um, next objective, though. So all of the bosses are in tunnels, if I remember correctly. Oh, I need to destroy another target this way. Maybe not. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to go into tunnels and stuff. I will probably go a little bit out of my way to collect loot, but... And enemies are flying into me. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to go into one of those. One of these over here. This is like a crashed Bion ship or something, I think. I'm not actually sure. So I am going to need to go in there. I don't know what it's wanting me to do right now. Get more rapid fire lasers from these guys, apparently. Okay, what's my target over here? Walker? More vipers. Oh, it's probably this over here. And their construction. Yeah. Now my target's over this way. Uh, now, oh, walker. Got him. That felt good. More rapid fire lasers. This is a lot of rapid fire lasers, but I'm quite happy to have a lot of rapid fire lasers. It's like bikes and stuff coming out of nowhere. Okay, I need to hit another checkpoint. It's this direction. Uh, I want to see what's in the thing. More dispersion cannon, okay. Okay, now I need to enter tunnel. It's probably this tunnel. Right here. Cool. Uh, so this is the SKL shooting four ways. I'm going to use it for a little bit in this tunnel, because why not? There's definitely some weird listing stuff going on, and I don't know why. But I believe we're almost done. Here's some more dead-on missiles. I call that because they just go on wherever you aim the, the, uh, the reticle. That's where they go. And then this is the boss room. So I'm going to pull out my dead-on missiles. Oh, right. So all of these bosses um, have these shield generators that you need to blow up. So these are like Bion missile or Bion uh, commanders or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm taking out these shield generators. Because if I don't, then I can't hurt the boss. And if I can't hurt the boss, I can't beat it. Man, my aim is terrible. I'm not sure that this is actually better than using, like, rapid fire lasers, for example. 
You cannot attack while you're turboing, by the way. Okay, so you can see about how much damage those were doing. Let's pull out some Bion Fury missiles. Oh yeah, that chunks that guy real hard. Okay, now I'm disoriented because I'm upside down. Somewhere around here is the exit tunnel. Ah, there it is. So now I just need to leave. Okay, not getting caught by that door is good. Uh, open please. Thank you. Well, I guess I got caught by it a little bit anyway. Ah yes, and they give you a bunch of rapid fire laser on your way out. Which is nice of them. I remember that now. These random girders. I also remember the random girders. More SKL. And now we exit tunnel. We need to destroy a target because destroying the boss was not enough. Now I'm gonna switch back to my rapid fire lever razors, my RFL 20s. They're hilarious. Okay. Uh, now I seem to recall seeing one of these over here. Okay, it's just some shields. Okay, my goal is to jump to the fly zone now. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, we are going to go ahead and, I guess, how am I going to do this? Um, found half the tunnels, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll let this cutscene play. So, we, we're going to jump, jump to uh, another planet. L24D. So uh, I guess I'm just going to read the mission briefing, save, and call the episode there. So planet L24D, mission destroy. L24D contains the largest repository of carbonium, an explosive with 48 times the power and radiation damage of a fusion bomb. The Bions won it for their perilous missile, the Bion Fury missile, BFM. Destroy the planet as long as it exists. There can be no lasting peace. Intelligence report follows. So as long as it lasts, there can be no lasting peace. These are really awkward to read. Our carbonium processing plants are highly volatile, and they blow up so nicely. Carbonium refineries house bion munitions factories. Destroy all of them. Storage vats contain munitions factory waste product products. Aim your fire and watch them explode. Okay. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and save the game as um, VOD of Consciousness, because that's what it is. And game is saved. With that, I'm going to go ahead and pause. And uh, until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.